this low life, Michael Jackson, his name, his face, his picture, is all over the newspapers, television, radio. So we hear about is Michael Jackson. And let's knock out the psychobabble. This guy was a pervert, he was a child molester, uh, he was a pedophile. And to be giving this much coverage to him day in and day out, what does it say about us as our country? I just think it's too, you know, we're too politically correct. No one wants to stand up and say, we don't need Michael Jackson. There's nothing good about this guy. Maybe a good singer, did some dancing. But the bottom line is, would you let your child or grandchild be in the same room with Michael Jackson? What are we glorifying him for? Peter King. I tend to lean a little more wow. towards the King camp, actually. Peter King. Oh, my goodness. The good congressman from Long Island. And by the All way, righty, then. by the way, let me just say for the record Please. that I remember when Elvis Presley died in 1978. I, I remember the next day there were stories all over. Uh, I, uh, all over the, the paper about how he was a pill abuser, yeah. he lived a freakish lifestyle, and he died uh, while okay. in the bathroom. Okay, okay. There was, there was, there was, there was no, there was no deification of Elvis Being Presley. Being a pedophile is the most heinous thing you can be in. Yes, right. he was not convicted, but we, I don't think any sane person does not think he was not inappropriate and predatory with children. And the fact that we are lionizing this guy, obviously Representative King goes a little oh, extreme, boy. but God, we've lost perspective, man. Yeah. The guy yeah. sang and he danced and but, us. I, I mean, this is insane. What? Yeah. Let me get Pat yes. Buchanan's, yes. Uh, but Pat oh, Buchanan's take on this. Pat, exactly. please, your analysis. Well, if I were Peter King and I were running for Senate, I would not spend a lot of time in Bedford Stuyvesant. <laughs> but my view of this is that <laughs> my view is basically this: that 